What is that? It looks like a sucker. That's a lot. No, 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 it's oh. a big bass. Oh, that's a gigantic smallmouth. <laughs> Look at how long it is. <laughs> Look at that. I cannot believe that. That is huge. Tim Barton. You want to cast back up there? That's why you fish these spots in the boundary waters. Nice. There's our keeper. Hair jig for the win. Yep. This is heavy. Tim, this is heavy. This is a big fish. Here we go. Oh, how exciting. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, it is time for a quick check-in. It is the longest day of the year, June 21st, 2022, and I'm here at Boot Lake. We put in at Mudrow, and I'm just now filming for the first time today. The bugs, as you can probably see, are terrible. We are gonna do a quick little loop. We got three days to do Mudrow to Moose River North, and we are gonna head through the Bear Trap River. That's the route we're taking. We're very excited. Through a PMA, might not be passable. We'll find out. There's Tim. This is how every canoe landing should be built. <laughs> Gun Lake. Bugs are still bad. Oh look, it's Mud Hole Lake. I wonder why they call it that. Gross. Update. Bugs are still really bad. <laughs> A windy bear trap lake at 10 a.m. I didn't know it was moving water here. There it is. The very beginning of the Bear Trap River. We made it by 1030. 1032, but who's counting? Who's counting? Hello, Tim. Just hustling down the Bear Trap River. Very high water. Oh, that's just another beaver dam. I thought it was going to be a portage situation. I think it is a portage situation. I don't think I'm going to the It doesn't look like much, but I think this is it. That is a big pile. That's how big my foot is. Jeez. Good for the shot, you know. Shots. Gotta get them shots, man. Shots, 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 shots. Today I have to Bear Trap happen. River! <laughs> Sunday Lake, 1208 p.m. We are now on Iron Lake. It's 1.45. Time to find a campsite, hang out. I'm pretty tired. It's a long day. 
horse flies are out, so that's pretty exciting. Can you see the high water line? Probably four and a half or five feet higher than what it is right now in the vegetation. <clears throat> That's probably a perfect keeper. But I'm going to let him go because we've got a long day of fishing and we should be able to catch another one. So here we go. Here we go. I'll show you what I was using. One of my favorite lures, Rapala X Wrap. Just jerking it back to shore. Probably in six feet of water. Big old walleye. Probably 19 and a half inches. Gonna get back at it. What a view from our Iron Lake campsite. It's gotta be a walleye. Not this fighting. This campsite is definitely underwater. It feels decent. Are we keeping it if it's a 17 inch walleye? Dang it. Should I go? No. Just saying, dang it. This is a difficult decision. I don't know what to do. We're too early. But this would be my second walleye of the day, so maybe I don't need to keep it. Flay him and put him in a bag, you mean? Or? Oh, I think he's too small. Yeah, he's too small. We don't get Not too small him. to eat, but no. too small to keep at this point in the day. Just a little guy came and nipped the tail. Oh, he kind of looks like a sauger, but I don't think he is. This is a really high quality thing to water's not... Cool. Two walleye, two bass. I can die happy. After you catch a 19 incher for dinner, anyway. Oh, just hooked myself. Mmm. Good sticky hooks there. Oof. Oh no. Oh. This is huge. God darn it, it's probably a big pike. It's not fighting though. This might be a walleye, bud. I think this is a big walleye. But, no. What are you? What was that? Oh no, don't be a bass. Where are you? It's going back down. Him. Damn it, it's a pike. They do fight, don't they? It's a good fish. Probably four pounds. Come on. That was fun. Yeah, a little action, and now you got your pike for the day.
you. Darn it. Grand designs on big like, walleye there. It was either big walleye or fighting pike. You're supposed to fight better than that, buddy. That would be a perfect eater if I wanted to keep pike. Yep. Number six. Click, click. Should have been a big walleye. Actually, let's go out. I want to jig this island. Just let me drift by it maybe once or twice. Should be walleyes out in front of this hoe. Yeah, rocks now. Rocks? <laughs> oh, just got clobbered. What was that? On the hunt for fish number eight. Telling me, yeah, that's okay. Making sure that I knew where we were at. You said you're guiding, so you're gonna be pretending to pay attention and care about what I'm saying. So I'm taking advantage of that. I can't wait to tell people. I got to guide the far water into the boundary waters. That's my name. Far water. Fool me once. <laughs> there we go. Caught it on the drop. This is, this is a good fish. Oh, you hear my drag? What? I think it's a huge bass. What is that? It looks like a sucker. That's a lot. No, no, no. It's a big bass. That's a gigantic smallmouth. Oh, look at that thing! Yes! He engulfed it. You can't even see the entire five inch bait. <laughs> he hit it right on the balance. You said he hadn't even got to the bottom yet. Yeah, he slurped it up. That's a nice bait. That is a behemoth. This is my personal best, and I don't even have a tape measure. Work your paddle. That is the biggest freaking mouth. Look at that That's fish. Okay. That is a 22 inch smallmouth bass. Look at how long it is. <laughs> Look at that. I cannot believe that. That is huge. Tim Bart. You want to cast back up there? That's why you fish these spots in the boundary waters. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at him. All Canada? That or just across the way? Yeah. It's very ahead of you. 
Just making sure I wasn't fishing in Canada. There's our keeper. Hair jig for the win. Yep. What do you got? Yeah. Din din. Some nice fish. 17? Yeah. 17 and a half? 18? First cast into the middle of that current about to go over to the falls. It's our fish, comrade. Oh. Yeah, that's perfect keeper and he's still wily. All right, I'm having a good day. Fish number 11. Yeah, should be about perfect. <laughs> See ya. Still counting it. It appears that I've got what they want. And I'm in the spot that they are. Another one. This one's better. Back to back cast. This might be our second keeper, a little bit smaller, which might be perfect. Oh, that is a feisty little guy. A little more dinner. Uh, no, he's a little small. Okay. Yeah. I think I will go for slightly larger since they seem to be abundant here. Oh, he just crushed my frickin' paddle tail. My wonkity wonk. <laughs> I think I found the spot they're all congregating. Right there. <laughs> Let it drift into the frickin' current. And they basically hit it by the time it falls. Another one. <laughs> Three casts in a row. Oh, I gotta friggin' count those. This might be our eater. Maybe. A little bigger. There we go. That's our second eater. What do you think? This is the best day ever. <laughs> well, he's a little small. How hungry are you for fish? I would eat fish. Now that I'm seeing them come up, that's 14. Yeah, but do I want to throw this back and go for another 17? There it is. Case, you catch another couple of those guys. Oh. Well, I got a walleye spot to mark on my map. I just love that. 
Yeah, I love camping by moving water. Some people hate it. I can't sleep. It's like, what? Yeah, you can't hear anything. You're just out, white noise. It's like a massage for your ears. Decent. Here we go again. Nope, feel small now. Just dead weight. You should be ashamed of yourself. What is this? Just kidding. There's like grayish silver. Bites slowing down just a little bit, so I want. Plus, he didn't fight. He's probably tender. He's like a chubby version. <laughs> you oh. Basically, pull him away from video games. Yeah, he's like, oh man, I didn't even want this. You just put it in front of me. I would keep one more that size, but nothing bigger. Yep. Because I'm in the mood for walleye, but we also we also have brats. Plus another meat and cheese. I guess that can be for tomorrow. Yeah. Might have to be walleye lunchtime. 16 fish total. Afford to be picky, apparently. I think so. And we've already got dinner, right? Yeah. With Rob. Those are healthy walleyes. All right. Sorry, big mama. It is time to get on over to Bottle Portage, head to Lac Croix. The right goes into the mud, the left is a hill. You get an either or situation? Yeah. Let's do hill. You wanna do hill? Why not? Hill's not that much fun. <laughs> well then let's do mud. Let's do mud. It was my thought. Ah. Sorry. I don't hate a lot of things here. Our next lake, Black Croix. What time is it, Tim? 12:15. Bluebird skies, lots of wispy clouds, 10 mile per hour sustained wind. 
It's probably 70 degrees. This is perfect. Very comfortable. Approaching Tiger Bay and Warrior Hill to the north. Lots of water to paddle across. Beautiful. Put your hand in the water. Feel how cold it is. It's not that bad. It's a couple of degrees colder than iron though. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go offline, just keep the boat straight. I'm just casting my lure out. turn us broadside and slow us down. This is big. Oh. Oh, sorry, you want to be <laughs> That's okay. I'm agile. Whatever this is, I think it's going to be too big for me to land. Please be a 32 inch walleye. Yeah, just keep us like this. This is fine. Now I'm nervous. This is big. It might also just be a 30 inch pike that's just T-boned. It hasn't run yet. Gotta get my drag ready. This is heavy. Tim, this is heavy. This is a big fish. Here we go. Oh, how exciting. I want to at least be able to see it. This has to be a trout or a really big pipe. My wrist is sore. <laughs> Drag's ready if he wants to go. Oh. I can't tell from that kick what it is, but I guess it's still trout or pike. Ooh, there we go. This is... Oh, it's a really big walleye. It's a nice walleye yeah. Oh no. How am I going to land this? I don't have a neck. Tired out, I guess, is the answer. Shore. Oh, not anymore. That's a nice fish. Yeah, I don't think it's 30. I can, I can try to land it. I don't think this is my personal best, but my goodness, that's a good one. It walleye. hit hard, huh? That's a nice fish. It is. They grow them big here on Lac La Croix. fingers. Twenty-five? No. Twenty-eight or nine. Please don't jump. Please don't jump. Yes. Oh my god. Alright. Give this camera some love and then I'll come back to you. Alright. Oh goodness gracious. Two lamprey bites on its neck. It oh, really? is. It is probably four inches from the gunnel. Ooh, yeah! Look at that. Had a big chunk out of its face. <laughs> nice work, man. Yes. Oh. Oh man, I love Lac La Croix. That was cool. What a typical spot to get a walleye. 
20 feet down right next to an island. This fishery, so fortunate to be able to fish the lake. What a fish. Oh, just the first fish of Black Lacroix. It's a 27 inch walleye. That was a pig. That was probably seven pounds. Six and a half pounds. I think that's where you're at in that 26, 28 inch range. Yeah. <laughs> that's the biggest walleye I've caught in two years. I should have known it was a walleye. It never really fought. No, it was just there. It was just there, and then I had a couple of tick head shakes, but not the lake trout thrashing head shakes and not the pike runs. That's usually how I can tell the difference. Now I'm in the sun. They're small, actually. Little fish. I'm guessing a medium-sized walleye. Or sauger. Kind of looks saugery. It's a different. I think that's a sauger. Good evening. up there and grab the tree out of the, yep. All right, new lure, let's keep trolling. What? Deep down husky jerk. Blue chrome, it's my laker taker. my lake or confidence bait here. Stained water, clear water, it don't matter. Right on that shoreline. This is a good fish. All right, you can stop us. I think it's another walleye. Probably a little guy again. But it's the 20th fish, and it's definitely a fish. Yep, it's getting smaller, every crank. That's what happens when you have 175 feet of line out. Small pike or small walleye? for it. Walleye. That would be a perfect fish for the frying pan.
If it was going to be colder tomorrow, I'd probably pack a few out. I tried to throw him over the side, but he didn't cooperate. Oh, God. Arsehole. God dang, these are fun. That would have been a perfect one for fish tacos. You get two of those little pound and a half bass or a couple of 25 inch pike from camp last day, Black Croy. We do some trolling for some lake trout. We're gonna complete the Grand Slam and then head home. Black Croy's beautiful. Warrior Hill. Lakers in here. All this water moving. That was an easy 120 though.
You got flies buzzing all around your head and dragonflies buzzing around them trying to eat them. Get some.